Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're sticking with the pizza theme. But, this is no special recipe. This was requested by little Addie. Addie. So, you know, she wanted, me, wanted to see me cook some uh, breakfast pizza. So, here we go. Never made it before. We like pizza. We like breakfast. So, we're going to do her up. So, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show. All right, y'all. Now, this is kind of a combination of two or three different recipes that I found for different variations on breakfast pizza. So, um, this is the one I chose. Uh, first thing you got to do, uh, we're going we're gonna to use uh, pizza crust because it's like pizza. We got to grease the uh, pan up here. Let me grab a little towel here. Kind of make sure we got it all coated around. Alright. So, there's our greased sheet pan there. I'm going to open our pizza crust up. And this one bakes at uh, 425. So we're going to get our uh, oven preheated here so all right now open this up pop goes the weasel get it to come out of the can without all right now right, we just gotta stretch it out Without tearing a hole in it. Without tearing a hole in it. This is harder than what it looks like, y'all. I do should have used a smaller pan, but this is the size of the pan it called for. So, this is what we're using. Maybe I greased the pan too much, it's not wanting to stick, but anyways, all right, I think we got her. Okay, so kind of want to push some edges up here. Oh, we just ripped a hole in it there. It'll be all right, we'll patch it. There, we patched it up. All right, good enough. So, all right, we're gonna set this off to the side. Now we gotta get some eggs. I think for this one, we're gonna use probably four eggs. Uh, yeah, four eggs. I mean, the one recipe called for eight, one called for six. Uh, we're gonna do four, just cause we got a lot of toppings. No, uh, no shell in there. All right. Eh. Nah, we'll do four. I'm going to add a little pepper to it. Just a little shake of pepper here. Get it to come out. Okay. Now we're going to add a little bit of milk. Because you guys want to have your eggs fluffy. So, eh, we'll add a little bit more. There we go. All right, bust them yolks. That's probably too much milk for my for your eggs, but I don't do scrambled eggs very often, so.
All right, those look well whipped. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese. Nah, we ain't gonna add the cheese to it. We're gonna put the cheese on top, so. All right, I see that little hole open back up right there, but. Okay, now, dump our eggs on here. Hopefully they don't all run to one end. Okay, there's our eggs. And we got some sausage. Let's see if we can shake this a little bit to get them eggs kind of smoothed out there. All right, there's our sauce, our pizza sauce. So we got some sausage here. Now you can put any kind of toppings you want on your pizza. You know, I'm doing like a meat lover's. Sausage out there. All right, there's our sausage. We got some leftover hash brown taters. We got some bacon, some real bacon. bacon and eggs, you know. Now, Addy, I know you're watching this, so if you uh, if you like something different on yours, let me know. Tell me in the comments down there. So, now we got some ham. Do some ham. Like I said, this is kind of like a meat lover's breakfast pizza. Do have another recipe for one that's basically sausage gravy breakfast pizza and we're gonna have to try that one too because i love sausage gravy okay so now we just gotta cover her up in some cheap bunch of cheese here Cheese out to the edges. Because you know, if you want it to go down easy, you got to make it cheesy. So. All right. There we go, y'all. So. This is all prepped, ready to go. We're going to, uh, I'm just kind of moving it around a little bit there just to kind of even it out. So once our oven warms up, we're gonna bake this at uh, 425 for 20 to 30 minutes. I'll put it in for 20 minutes, check it. If it looks done, we'll eat. If it's not, then uh, we'll go for another 10 or 15 minutes till it's ready to eat. So stick around and uh, we'll bring it right back. All right, y'all, timer has gone off. Let's get this thing out of this oven. Oh, it's looking delicious, y'all. Ooh, golden brown. I don't know if this, uh, if this camera like shows it or not, but oh, man, it is smell. Oh, it smells delicious, y'all. So, all right, give me a couple minutes to uh, let this kind of cool. We'll cut into it, and we'll do our taste test. Alright, y'all. This is cooled down some, so we're going to cut us off some chunks. And, uh, that's a good crispy crust right there. Now, I did put it on a cooling rack so that, uh, it wouldn't get soggy on the bottom but, oh yeah let's see if I can flip this over a little bit that's nice and brown Whew. oh yeah so all right oh myself 
I gotta have a little sriracha, you know. You know, that's that's my thing with the eggs. You gotta put a little sriracha on it. You can put on whatever you want. So, all right, let's uh, get our plate out here and uh, we'll get the taste testing. All right, y'all. We got our pizza here, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna try a bite. That's really good, y'all. Got some brown blue juice for breakfast. Mmm. Brown blue juice and pizza. Uh, breakfast pizza. Winning combination. So, all right. There you go, Addy. Hope you like us. Hope you're gonna have mom and uh, or uncle Kenny and Aunt Kim. Hope they uh, hope they'll make this for you, and you better help them. You know, let them know what you like on it. So, appreciate y'all watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, you know, as always, bear appetite.